David, before we get into Saturday's runners, just uh, a comment on Geelong on Friday. We've got Remar running. Yes, uh, she's a really good filly. Got beaten by a Group 1 winner in the Blue Diamond by narrowest of margins. Um, I'm expecting her to kick off and run extremely well. She'll be very short odds, but it'll just get her on the right leg for the good fillies races coming up towards the Guineas. David, a massive weekend ahead. Uh, 13 acceptors at Caulfield on Saturday, so let's get straight into it. Race two, Air Apparent is second up over the 1400. Encouraging second placing first up, she's 10 to one. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed she didn't win a maiden, but it, was a, it wasn't a bad loss. She was doing her best work late, and we've been really looking forward to getting her out over 1400 for a long time. Obviously, the Mike Maroney filly will be very hard to beat. I've just got to get yeah. Speaking of the oh, there you go. Uh, could be an Ironman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, three acceptors in race three over 1200, starting with Cross of Gold. He's drawn out in 16 and is around 20 to 1. Yeah, look, he ran very well at Flemington last start. Uh, I'll be instructing Dylan to be riding him patiently from the gate and producing him late. Last start winner KJ's Joy with Blake Shin aboard is uh, 8 to 1. She's up in class, um, but it was a gutsy win first up. Um, she'd need to be um, run to her best to beat these. And uh, Hong Kong import master Samilia, third emergency, may not get a run, but a word on him? Uh, look, he's been trialling well. He was a bit of a rogue in Hong Kong, but uh, he seems very good here at Lindsay Park. Um, if he got a run, I'd be definitely putting him in the multiples. Miss Promiscuity runs in race five, the group three over 1100. She's had a let up since her impressive win in the Monash. Yes, um, haven't got a horse going better in the stable. Very happy with her. Two runners in race six over 1400. Let's start with the market elect of the two. Uh, that's Hiyoshi, who's second favourite, $6. Yeah, very competitive horse. Uh, first run for the stable um, back in the winter. Uh, had no luck, but uh, he seems to have uh, improved a bit. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was putting in the big ones late. Jack and Obey is the other runner in the sixth. Yeah, he had great prep last time. One of these old campaigners that Lindsay Park keeps producing that gets better with age. Uh, look, he got better as his prep went on last time, but his track work has been very, very good. We see Girl Guide resume in race seven over 1,200. She's typically very good first up. She's $6 in the market. Yeah, she's one of my favourite old mares. Um, uh, I'd expect her to run well. A very tough race, but uh, um, she's, her track work has been good since her last trial. Two runners in race eight, the Memsey over 1400. Petrology draws barrier two, 16 to one. Yeah, he's drawn a barrier. Um, got blinkers on. I would certainly put him, leave him in the multiples. He's been looming up but not quite finishing, and I think the blinkers will do the trick for him. And last year's Caulfield Cup runner up, Rising Romance, has her first start for the stable in the Memsey. She's $10. Yeah, I'm very excited about this mare. Um, we've taken a view, put her in fresh, but we just feel the Memsey is an ideal time to kick off. She'll be ridden patiently from the barrier, and if the tempo's fast enough, she'll be really finishing strongly. I'm very, very uh, excited about her spring prospects. Three acceptors to close out the day in race nine over 1700, starting with extra zero, second up at nine to one. Yeah, never runs a bad race. Um, really happy with him probably improved since he's very good first up run. And Her Majesty the Queen owns Bold Sniper, who makes his Australian debut. What are you expecting from him first up? Uh, we're learning with this horse. Uh, he's got a lot of talent. I've seen him do some very, very good gallops. Temperamental horse. Uh, we'll be riding him nice and quietly in the early part of the race. And if he behaves himself the first half, he's got the class to win. Um, but as long as he's uh, uh, relaxing and running on, I'll be very, very happy. And Pacific Heights is first emergency in the ninth. Yes, if he gets a run, he's a fit horse who'll race right on the pace, blink his first time. I like his chances. And who do you rate as the best chances on Saturday, David? Um, I like Miss Promiscuity to cause an upset against Rich Enough.